So no videos for ages and then all of a sudden two come along at once. Uh, so whilst I've been experimenting with the bullet train, I thought I would do another couple of experiments with Mallard. One of the things that's been a bit frustrating with Mallard is it doesn't go very fast. Um, it's got one of these motors in it, the way I built it at the moment. It's got one of these power functions, large motors in it, which is normally buried in there. I've taken it out. And I've seen lots of other people, what they've done when they've done uh, steam engines like this is they've actually either put the motor, a train motor in the tender. Can't do that here or don't want to do that here because I want these four wheels to reflect uh, the actual train as it exists, the tender as it exists, or to put a power functions motor or a powered up motor, a train motor, in a carriage, so I thought, right, let's have a go with a with the uh, train motor I've got in the bullet train that we built over the weekend, and see what difference that makes. So, here we go. So, so, so far, so good. And I'll wait till it comes around again. But what I'm finding is it's still not going very fast, and it's struggling when it gets the corners. So it slows down on the corner and then keeps going and speeds up on the straights. And I've also had problems with this mallard as well when it goes through switches, and goes around corners like that. Um, particularly switches, it can derail quite easily. And I'm forever having to put it back on and fiddle with it. So it seems like there's, there's probably two problems here. One is that the wheel arrangement and the way it's working is just putting too much friction on movement and, and means it's difficult for it to move. So I can hear the motor struggling there when it gets to go around the corner. So I think one thing I need to do is to try and change that. And the other thing I wonder is if it's worth trying it with two train motors as well. So I've got some bits and bobs looking around here and I'm gonna have a go with that coming up. Okay, so I've hacked it together. We've got a second train motor in that bullet car engine there. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, that's much better. That extra power is making all the difference. So, ooh, I'm very tempted there to investigate doing mallard. I'm not knocking the camera over, but I'm talking about it. Um, powered by two train motors. But where to put them? So if I do have train motors, where could I put them? Well, maybe I have the answer, which is the dynamometer car, which I made, um, which accompanied mallard on its record breaking run. So at the moment, this is 24 studs long and has got slightly smaller bogies. So there's probably no room for some train motors there. But I wonder if I make it with a 28 stud long train plate, whether that might be the answer. Tell me what you think. Bye.